Last time we had a look at the Alpha Cool Core 120 spinning at up to 2500 rpm. A very cool concept of a fan. Core on every metric. Nothing fancy, nothing schmancy, it was just a raw fan. Now, now it's time for the bigger brother, the Core 120 at up to 3000 rpm. On the surface it's absolutely the same fan. It comes inside the exact same all white packaging with no screws, <laughs> I like this. It has the exact same all black design with absolutely zero optical features. It has the same 9 slightly bent wing design. It still has the absolute minimum of frame reinforcement, making the whole structure still bendable, but, but okay, P12 level. It still has the 40 cm long PVM cable and the only thing that changed is the bearing. Now we are over to dual ball bearing cause you know speed and I guarantee you you can feel that the bearing has changed. Absolutely everything about this fan is still core but there is also one crucial difference to the one we looked at last time. The speed. This monster is now spinning at up to 3000 rpm and that comes with significant changes like up to 7.83 mm of H2O static pressure and up to 93.6 CFM. Now that's a change that I do like. Unlike the 49.90B, that, that's something that I definitely do not like. But how do they compare? Let's find out at the benchmarks. Allowing the fan to spin 1000 RPM faster than the previous one catapulted the core into the upper quarter of our benchmark list with 42.2 degrees C above ambient in our hybrid case almost heatsink benchmark. Wow, just wow, how much of a difference a 1000 RPM can make. That's 4 degrees less making it perform like a Lightwing 120 high speed or Fantex T30 in performance mode. Not bad indeed. But what about the noise? Well, as I said, 49.9 dB and our dB meter definitely picked that up. First off, the graph for the 3000 RPM takes plus minus the same path as the 2500 RPM version, but because of measuring point differences and the fact that dual ball bearing, you know, margin of error and stuff, the whole thing is slightly off shift. Unfortunately, it's not shifted into, into the good direction. Except for the first 10% of their respective max RPM settings, the slower spinning core 2500 RPM was always just a bit ahead of the quicker one. But hey, at least you are better off at full blast for both temperature and noise to performance. Though don't forget that noise is not a linear thing, so the further you go onto the right side of the graph, the more impact it has, and with impact I mean hearing damage, just, just straight up hearing damage. But there are really two sides of this coin. Sure, the noise to performance ratio compared to an Arctic P12 has just become even worse. Uh, but if you flip that, the performance overhead is huge. Whereas before we had about 5 degrees C, now we are close to 9. Still, keep in mind our benchmark creates bloated numbers. But as a reference, divide them by 3 to get an acceptable real build result and then we would have 3 degrees C less compared to an Arctic P12, which is kind of good. It will damage your ear if you stay you know, too long next to this thing, but uh, damn, 3 degrees C is, is quite a lot. Now, the reason why I am so excited about this fan is the freaking price. Going from a core 2500 RPM to a core 3000 RPM will cost you, bada boom, bada boom, 50 cents. Going from a mediocre max performance up to a holy damn costs you as much as yeah I would really like to make a joke about some random object at the next gas station but I doubt that anything costs 50 cents anymore. Maybe a can of coke? No that's like a Nero. No. Okay. 
50 cents. Looking at the grand picture, yes, the Core 3000 has a terrible noise to performance ratio. It, it really has a terrible one, oh my god. But I don't even think it was AlphaCool's goal to optimize anything in here. This thing is core and core performance and they did it. And for a ridiculous price tag of $6.99, that kind of puts it into an exceptionally good spot. $6.99. There, there are maybe like five fans on this whole list that cost that little. And this one landed on the upper third part. It's kind of ridiculous. And the comparison I did last time is even more true for this one. If you are buying on a budget and the main focus is raw performance and beautiful backness, P12 Core 120 P12 Max. Step by step. Just that the one in the middle is, uh, yeah, makes horrible noises. But if you have, for example, a server that can take 120mm fans, this is a very good option. Great performance and who cares about the noise anyway. Or let's just be realistic. Let's say you have either a Nokia A12X25 or this sucker. Well, for the price of one single NF-A12X25 in black, I could get four of these suckers. Make all of them spin at absolute minimum and I won. There is just no doubt. I, I mean, it's ridiculous. Or just imagine filling out a build, three in the front, two in the top, one in the back. For A12s, we are close to, what, 200 bucks? Cores would be like 40. You will need to limit the crap out of your PVM settings, for sure. But that's a bargain. A small note that I really need to make here again. Each and every core fan I had on my benchmark machine needed to be pressed together again. Not that the central part would, you know, make its way out the building, but the fan was making a really, really weird noise. It was horrible. Up until I gave it a very firm oomph. <clears throat> Unnecessary as hell. And I need to repeat this in every freaking video. Maybe it's a batch problem, maybe it's a machine problem, I don't care, it should not happen at all. But okay, this should be it for AlphaCool and their Core 120 in 3000 RPM. And if you are looking to see how it performs on top of a radiator, sorry but we need to wait a tiny bit more because we are still in the process of redoing all of our fan benchmarks with radiators of different sizes. A lot of work, but once we are there, we will get a ton of data. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And of course, we also still have channel membership, so if you are looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to beget earplugs. Because uh, next up is the 4000 RPM Big Daddy, and I really need those earplugs. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the P12 Max. For whatever loose change you have lying in your car, you can upgrade to that one. And that upgrade is really worth it. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.